Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Deputy Secretary General of East African Community and my sister, Honorable uh, Jessica Leo. Honorable Minister, my colleague here present, Your Excellency, the Ambassadors, uh, the permanent secretaries here present, the executive director of UNWTO and the staff, the directors from the East African community, the East African member states, heads of tourism boards, tour operators, and other related bodies, distinguished invited guests, members of the media fraternity, members of international media and East African media, ladies and gentlemen. First, I want to congratulate my fellow women here present in East Africa and the global community for a successful Women's Day. Congratulations and good <laughs> on the Women's Day, and I really think that today, as I put it, this uh, director, I think it's by God's choice that today it happens that women are the steering. So I congratulate the women of East Africa, and I know that you are capable, and you are going to drive for the next one year to drive this sector to the heights it deserves. The I warmly welcome all, all of you to Afghanistan that is hosting the East African Community Event this year. The East African Community Partner States of the Republic of Burundi, Republic of Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, the United Republic of Tanzania have together set pace in achieving the fundamental stages of regional integration in tourism and wildlife management sectors. The theme of our joint statement at this ITB here in Bahrain this year is for East Africa as the secure destination of wonders and opportunities. That is our message to the nation, that is our message to the global community. It is therefore focusing on the three main aspects. One, our regional achievements today, as highlighted and enumerated by the Deputy Secretary General of the East African Community. Two, our safety and security. And three, the continued efforts and strategies to promote the regional, the region as a single tourist destination. Ladies and gentlemen, the East African state partners have embarked on the process of operationalizing the common market protocol. This will facilitate the free movement of people, skills, goods and services, and it's a one great milestone that will enhance trade and uh, travel industry and the removal of non-tariff barriers and enhancing a free trade area. Furthermore, the region seeks to introduce a single tourism visa and a single currency under the monetary union. The monetary union in the East African community with a combined population of an estimated 135 million people and a collective GDP of the United States dollars, 79.25 billion will have a great positive economic impact for the, three, for the entire region. Tourism will automatically be facilitated to obtain one entry visa at any part of the region and use the same currency throughout the region. The tourism sector has also started harmonizing hospitality services and policies and the laws in the region in anticipation for a full cooperation and to sustainably utilize our resources as a region. Harmonization of policies as well as laws will develop mechanisms on the movement of people and skills in this firebrand sector and will ensure that standards of quality and hospitality are made in the promotion of a single tourist destination if we are to achieve. However, we need to strike the delicate balance between developing creative products.
that will continuously attract visitors to the region on the one hand and uh, sustain the natural resources that have been blessed with that have been blessed with on the other. This requires measures to be undertaken that will ensure the conservation and sustainable utilization of the wildlife and the other body sites in the region. In addition, yes, by harmonizing policies for conservation of wildlife within and outside the protected areas and adapting common policies of wildlife management and development will enhance our development of the quality sector. Furthermore, enhance joint efforts in controlling and monitoring encroachment and poaching activities. Of course, as we know, the region is embedded with tourism, uh, uh, wildlife poaching, and this is an activity that we are going to fight together. Lastly, to for common use of training and research facilities and common market management plans for front-border uh, protected areas. With regard to safety and security in the region, nah, nah. and taking note of the recent terrorist acts in the area, the Minister is responsible for tourism have agreed that partner states should fully address the negative image portrayed and subsequent negative travel advisory issues. In this regard, we will employ a positive outlook on the regional approach taken to combat these challenges about the East African tourism destination. This is not a new commitment, however it has been given new impetus due to the increasing threats and now we resolve to take joint efforts to reacting against and addressing negative travel advisory that include one adoption of adopting a proactive approach to preempt the issuing of such negative travel advisories, such as consulting safety and security aspects in each country by giving relevant updates on travel information within the East Africa and the international travelers. Two, we shall endeavor to report honestly and use the isolation strategy whereby only the affected areas in the region are reported to ensure the people of the community and their visitors have adequate security and provided for. Three, we shall address any negative travel advisory or travel warning jointly at the community through a general statement issued by the East African Community Secretariat through the Secretary General to whoever has issued the negative warning. Be it to where to the partner state mission abroad, and three, to any global tourism forum or event like this one that will be able to communicate the message effectively. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tourism Trade Association are argue to ensure continuous dialogue with all the Commonwealth member states and to advise Commonwealth member countries to notify the East African Secretariat before publishing any travel warning. Finally, the promotion of the East African community as a single tourism destination is an ongoing task and the innovative strategies are always sought to achieve this objective. This year, at the ITB here, we also continue to appreciate our embassies and ambassadors for their continued dedication in promoting the region and the destination of wonders and opportunities. To that regard, the destination of wonders has been aptly recognized by the world, so much more is available to see, to test, to touch, to explore, and to conquer than what some, someone can explain when we are here. You need to come, you need to see, you need to experience, and in addition, the opportunities to invest in the region are numerous and impressive. A special opportunity in improving tourism facilities such as transportation, accommodation, establishment of many more uh, uh, facilities in roads, and also products, tourism products. Once again, I want to thank the global community and welcome the global community to East Africa and as the secure and the safe destination of wonders and opportunity. And also want to thank everybody 
who have turned up today for this function, the five laws, I want to say that there are people in this meeting here at ITP who have expressed willingness to adventure, to take to take on East Africa, to show that East Africa has got viability. And at this juncture, I would like to introduce two people. People who have taken on East Africa the more to start products that are going to help us. I want to introduce uh, uh, Yuriana. Yuriana has offered to start a Lake Victoria expedition, going around Lake Victoria on water, all around, starting from Uganda, going around the East African countries, and be able to tell us what Lake Victoria is all about today. So we give you a big Thank you.